Hey there! Welcome back to Reddit Dating, best channel for cheating stories. Make sure to like and subscribe the channel for more spicy stories. Wife cheated, so I tricked her into publicly admitting to having the affair in herpes. I'm the co-worker who pushed him to write this, and because your account must be seven days old in order to post here, I gave him an alt account I created for a joke about a month ago. This story has been around for almost 12 years. Yesterday, I mentioned it to a co-worker who suggested that I post it on Reddit. Today, he encouraged me again, and here we are, drinking drinks before the four-day weekend and my writing is finished. So, this is my first time here, and hello to everyone. Apologies in advance for any errors. At the end of the article, I provided a when I was in college, I met the woman who I believed to be my soulmate. The two of us had been dating for almost two years when we got married in a big wedding after a 10-month engagement. Her family was well-to-do in a tiny southern town. We were both finishing our educations, and I was also working to provide financial support for the two of us. During that time, I was working on a master's degree in engineering, while she was earning her PhD in anthropology. A summer job opportunity presented itself for her to earn some additional money by working as an aide on a religious studies trip to Jamaica over the summer months. After all, she was going to get to go to Jamaica and get paid for it so I didn't see any drawback to it other than the fact that she would be missing her family while she was away for six weeks. I had no idea that she had been the professor, who had gone out with us, smoked my weed, and drunk my beer, so I considered him a buddy, who had booked the trip for them to bang all over the island for a couple of months. I was completely unaware of this at the time. I went through the weeks while she was away, completely naive and delighted, working additional shifts in order to match the amount she had earned in our account and surprise her. What a jerk, don't you think? One of the students from the tour actually went out of his way to find me and tell me what was going on. Before I started seeking for evidence on my own, I couldn't bring myself to believe him. I finally broke down and checked her texts while she was sleeping, only to discover that there were none. Because there were several VM, I decided to listen in, and there it was. A message from that gigantic telling me how great it was that I was so close to catching them. As soon as I opened up her laptop and pushed the emails button, it was a deluge of with people making fun of me for not knowing what they were talking about and in our bed and laughing about it. There was so much, and I was really devastated. I couldn't do anything because I was too hurt to do anything. I had no idea what to do, so I sat on it for a couple of weeks and tried to act as normally as I possibly could. I noticed everything now and I felt so foolish for not noticing it earlier. There are so many signs. There was one that stood out in particular. Even though we weren't having I noticed that our supply of homemade cannabis lube, which if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it, was depleting quickly. It was evident that they were also taking advantage of my hard work to get off more quickly and efficiently. This made me quite irritated. Hulk is absolutely insane and not in a good way. It had all finally dawned on me. These jerks thought I was a goddamn joke, and they were in my bed while using the lube I manufactured for them. I didn't want to hurt them anymore. All I wanted was to make them hurt. In order to keep her occupied while she was studying in the library, I produced a fresh batch of lube. I made a combination with enough marijuana to make it smell normal, but I also included some poison ivy from our backyard, which I added after refilling the spray container we used for application. I then waited. After a few days, I'm working more hours so that I can spend more time outside of the house, and presto, the bait has been taken. During the night, after she has gone to sleep, my plan is put into action. I steal her phone and erase my contact from it, while replacing his phone number in his contact with my phone number in his contact. Going to bed is difficult because it seems like I am five years old and Christmas is the following day. When the sun comes up, she's already in the shower. I receive a text message. I'm itchy as a bee, are you okay? Now, Lord, this is my moment. As you can see, I thought my condition had improved, but it appears that I have experienced a flare-up. I'm sorry, but I'm infected with herpes, and I'm guessing you are as well. I heard this squeaky squeal in the shower. I'm covering my mouth because I'm on the verge of losing it. I went on to tell her that it was time to end things now. A new semester was about to start, and I kind of have a little crush on another T-slash-A I wanted her mad. This is a woman that never got told no growing up and never had to deal with rejection, let alone from a balding dude in his fifties with herpes. When she got out of the shower it was obvious she had been crying but I could see the anger in her eyes. 
I could see how uncomfortable she was squirming at the table drinking coffee and mulling the situation over. Another little nudge is what she needed. The reply she got to her pages and pages of anger and sadness was, Thanks for the good times, but can you keep this a secret between us? I don't want to ruin my chances with anyone else. She's flush with anger now, just seething. She gathered her keys and headed out the door without even saying goodbye. I knew where she was going. I booted up her laptop and set it to reformat, deleting her dissertation and any notes pertaining to it before following her to campus. I parked a few lots over and rushed over to his office, where I find her, screaming at him for giving her herpes. There's lots of people there. Professors, aides, students, other faculty, undying. He is beyond and confused as she is ugly crying in front of her peers, I'm in heaven. I didn't even care that people were going to think I had herpes too. The fallout was apocalyptic in their department. He lost his job due to code of conduct at the university. We got divorced the following year. State law was we had to be separated for one full year before being granted a divorce. I got to keep most of the assets, primarily savings and not a ton, but I worked for it. She never finished her doctorate and went on to be a perpetually pregnant housewife that sells Herbalife on Facebook and he teaches high school now. It took a few years for it all to unfold, but watching it was glorious. Follow the directions for use or it's kind of a waste, and this is totally geared towards the ladies. We're talking big OS. Use polyurethane condoms. It breaks down latex. Weed. Lube. 1 slash 4 ounce flour or 1 gram CO2 extracted live resin preferred, 4 Oz MCT coconut oil 216 Oz mason jars, 3 coffee filters, only if flour is used, 2 drops tea tree oil. It really makes a difference 30 leaves poison ivy. Small spray bottles think perfume. Put oils in wax or flour in mason jar and heat in oven for 80 minutes at 240 degrees, turn oven off and allow it to cool for about an hour. Strain through coffee filters if you used flour into the second mason jar, and then fill the spray bottles. Here's the instructions and description my current amazing wife wrote for a friend wanting to try it. At first, you can feel the warmth building up. Everything feels more intense to the touch. Walking become part of foreplay. The action causes more friction and heat to build up. As your spouse begins touching at your neck and shoulders, the warmth rises up your body sending chills down your spine. Each touch becomes more euphoric than the last until foreplay is done, from there enjoy. Complete euphoria in your partner's embrace. Application 8-10 Total Sprays Use 2-3 on your fingers at a time. Self-application spray on fingers and massage around the clitoris and labia down toward your opening working the oil inward towards your G-spot. To help with cramps, spray on tampon, insert, go, without tampon. Hit off 5 ml in a syringe, insert, spray and stay with hips, lifted for 1-2 minutes. With spouse of your spouse apply the spray to their fingers, gently spreading it over the clitoris, labia, pushing some into your cookie. Think of it like painting, the better the coverage, the better it will feel. Be sure to apply to your G-spot, it's about 2 inches in on the front wall of your vagina. For an added plus, apply to the O-spot, which is directly across from the G-spot on the back wall of the vagina. Spend this time exploring other areas of your lovely treasure. Don't use if overly intoxicated, you'll simply waste it.